Pete Davidson. Real hateable, a lot of people would say. Or real likable, others some, would say. Some like him a lot. M- more seem to hate him a lot. I don't know if his acceptance rate is that low. That's, it feels low. Really? Don't you think it's pretty low? I feel like people love him. I Are you are you kidding with that? I'm being dead serious. Like, women adore him. Uh, people think he's funny. I feel yeah. like his acceptance rate's pretty high. He's I on Saturday know. Night Live. The people I that, feel like if his, if he's his not acceptance Saturday Night Live was, anymore. If his acceptance rate was low, he wouldn't be nearly as famous, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know. I, he's I, in I, movies. I don't know. I think he's... If you asked uh, one of the worst rated celebrities that hasn't committed a crime, that it hasn't been convicted of a crime... He might be up there. What? Yeah, I think he's real. I think uh, there, he's got a lot of haters. In fact, and it's not just me saying this, he has so many haters that uh, he just admitted recently that his mom, during his time on Saturday Night Live, especially the early days, which started, get this, he's been on SNL. He started on SNL in 2014. That's a it's long been, time ago. It's been like a decade of Pete Davidson. Uh, some he, people must have liked him. Yeah, somebody did. They kept him around for some reason. But he had so many haters uh, that his mom had a burner Twitter account, and she would go on and refute people that were talking smack about Pete Davidson. She would go online and defend him with a burner account. That makes sense. You think it's a good mom? I think that's just. A, I mean, I feel like that would be an easy thing to get sucked into. If your son was famous. Yeah. Cause he's gonna, and I mean, really hated. Because, <laughs> I mean, online, if you're famous, people will always talk crap about you no matter what. Yeah. It comes with the territory. Yeah. Just Don't being, I know it. Don't I know it, Isaiah. I mean, yeah, you have, a, you have way more haters than Pete Davidson probably. Did you know what I told my mom very early on? I said, Mom, listen. I said, people are going to, to criticize me. People are going to make up nonsense about, about me. And you just have to sit there and let them do it. You're not going to change their mind. They're still going to say ridiculous things. And you're not going to be able to change it. So, Mom, stay off of Twitter. Stay away. Stay away from the Radio Q Facebook page. You don't need to be defending. Defending me. But uh, I don't know. Do you think, it's, you, think it's, uh, you think that was a good mom behavior? Should he have cut her off? No, I don't think there's an issue with it. I think it's fine. Everybody has a burner account. He says that she used to be too specific. Too specific. Yeah, like it wasn't just like, hey, don't hate on Pete Davidson. He's real funny. He's attractive. It would be like, actually, he's really working on himself. He's been going to therapy, like, you know, like real specific, addressing the issues. These are the things he's doing. Yeah. Which I, I feel like would be, an, I feel like that would be an easy motherly thing to get sucked into. Yeah. If you saw people hating on your son online everywhere, I feel like it'd be hard not to. But at the same time, everybody has like a fake, a fake Twitter that they defend something. That's just how we, how it works. So I don't blame her for it being her defending her son. It makes sense. See, my fake Twitter is opposite. I oh, use it's you it to, hating on things. Yeah, uh-huh. And getting <laughs> away with it. I use it exclusively to criticize Pete Davidson, actually. Oh, that's your go-to. It has so, so many followers. So it's very jealous. popular. It so is very jealous. popular. Wasn't that a great Riot clip? While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.